Today was a crazy day. I saw this international space station crossing the moon, and I thought to myself, how come it's only about a quarter of the size of a plane crossing the moon? Seems like it'd be much smaller than that, especially when we look at the size comparison and see that both an airplane and the International Space Station are about the same size as a football field. And then you look at a football field from an airplane window and you realize that it looks pretty small from there. So then I wonder, is this really 250 miles away? Then I thought to myself, well, it can't be fake because I can go on YouTube and watch the live stream of the ISS coursing across the face of the Earth. And someone obviously took this picture, and I know you can track it, and there's people who see it all the time, but the live feed footage doesn't look much higher than a weather balloon. And we all know most satellites are launched by balloon. So then I came across this thing, which is a U.S. patented triangular spacecraft that uses what is called unconventional spacecraft propulsion systems, which is a spacecraft having a triangular hull with vertical electrostatic line charges on each corner that produce a horizontal electric field parallel to the sides of the hull. This field interacting with a plane wave emitted by the antennas on the sides of the hull generates force per volume combining both lift and propulsion. Then I find out that these electrostatic propulsion systems are used in satellites? Then I start to look into electrostatic levitation? What? Then I find out about the electrostatics in our atmosphere that it has an equipotential increase of 100 volts per meter, which could possibly be the reason for the downward bias of things trying to seek equilibrium on the ground. I, I. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I figure out that liquid oxygen is actually magnetic. And I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on. If liquid oxygen is magnetic and frozen oxygen is this beautiful sky blue, then does liquid oxygen somehow interact with this electrostatic orbital electromagnetic field? I don't know. Wait, what? Then I found this thing, a toroidal field made out of copper and stones, all of a sudden he hangs this golden necklace over it and it starts orbiting. Oh, have you seen the path of the ISS over the flat earth? Yeah, that's the path it takes. The International Space Station path over the flat earth. It's a toroidal field. I don't know. This is why they don't want us to do our own research because simply just asking a question about this sent me on this whole rabbit